everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a weekly vlog. Hi everyone, so it's Friday today and I am obviously starting my vlog. I am going to warn you, this vlog is going to be a bit, not all over the place, but it's going to be a little bit here and then there. Um, we're just gonna have to put up with it. I'm sure it'll be fine. I hope it's not too confusing for you But yeah, it's Friday. The Sun is shining. My hay fever has started which is not great It seems to get earlier and earlier every single year um, So I'm stocked up on Benadryl and I've just taken one now because my nose has been Streaming all morning. It seems like uh, literally as soon as the Sun comes out My hay fever starts which is so annoying because it's really lovely and sunny today But it's just one of those things. I did think I would grow out of it when I was younger, but it's not happened yet. Apologies if I am squinting a little bit because I've put you on the windowsill um, and it's such a bright day today. But this is my favourite spot to film in, isn't it? So as you can tell, I am ready for the day and I thought that I would just pop my jewellery on on camera because I have some amazing new pieces from Ana Luisa that I wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm going to wear them. I'm going to wear them all today. Yeah, I'm going to wear them all today. You guys know I love Ana Luisa. I've worked with them so many times in the past. They are one of my favourite places for jewellery. They're just such elegant, lovely, luxury pieces, but without the luxury price tag. Their jewellery is 100% carbon neutral, so amazing for the environment. And the quality is brilliant. And they also have, I didn't even realise this, but they also have a um, 365 day guarantee with all the jewellery as well. So that is brilliant as well. And they also have a sale on at the moment. So if you don't know Ana Luisa, they are based in New York. Um, and obviously American Mother's Day is different to um, the British Mother's Day. We've already had ours um, last month. Um, I think it was the first Sunday in March. Yes, must have been. I don't know. I can't remember. But Mother's Day in America is the 9th of May, I believe. Um, so coming up soon. And Anna Luisa have a 15% off Mother's Day sale starting from the 12th of April. So it's the perfect time if you are based in the US. I know a number of my subscribers are. Then that is the perfect time, obviously, to get your mum a gift. But for the rest of you that aren't based in the US, it's brilliant time to treat yourself to something or maybe treat someone else or maybe you do want to treat your mum just not on a special occasion so they have 15% off from the 12th of April right up until Mother's Day if you do want to guarantee shipping so that it arrives before the 9th of May then you need to order by the 5th of May if you're in the US and the 3rd of May um, if you are elsewhere right so I'm going to show you the pieces that I have got first up are these stunning earrings how beautiful are they? These are called the enamel earrings and I just love them. As you can see, there's like this gold circle and then underneath is like a blue and white kind of almost like a marble effect. They remind me of like a piece of china, um, but I just think they're stunning and perfect for the spring. I'm going to pop these on now. I also think they're like the perfect size as well. Not too big, not too gaudy because I do like my jewellery to be quite simple and understated. This just gives a little something extra. Um, without being over the top. How pretty is that? Perfect for the spring and the summer. I can imagine wearing these on holiday in the evening with a lovely golden tan. As always, all information will be in the description box as well so you can find links to everything um, and information about the sale and stuff down there. Next up, I have another pair of earrings in this gorgeous little pouch. How cute is that? So the next pair of earrings that I have are these gorgeous huggy hoops. These are called the Suzanne earrings. And if I just turn them, you can see how beautiful that is. It's got this cubic zirconia on it there and they're just beautiful. So I'm gonna pop these in now as well. So again, these are 14 karat gold on sterling silver. So amazing quality. These don't tarnish either, by the way. I had a couple of questions about wearing this jewelry like in the shower or in the bath or whatever. And I don't find that it tarnishes at all. It stays amazing quality. How pretty, let me zoom in. How gorgeous are they? perfect for summer right now sticking with this blue theme we're going to move on to what have i got in here the necklace now this is stunning so this is the vicky necklace and i adore this it's just something different because i don't have a lot of like different colored stones in my jewelry it's normally just a simple gold chain so i thought that i would go for this beautiful blue this is again 14 karat gold on brass this time the stone is a lapis lazuli i believe it's called but this is still really in keeping with my style nice and subtle and simple and understated but also a little bit different to the jewelry that i have currently got and then to match this vicky necklace i have also got 
the bracelet version which I'm going to try I'm going to attempt to pop it on myself so this bracelet is called the Sarah bracelet I don't know how people that live alone put bracelets on because I find it so so difficult okay so I've managed it on the looser setting I'll get my mum to tie it for me later but how beautiful is that I just think it's stunning again so simple I love the fact that it matches the necklace what a beautiful pair. This would make such a nice set to gift someone, both of these together. I think the little touch of blue, especially in the earrings, looks really nice with the crisp white shirt that I've got on today. So I will let you guys know the current prices of the pieces that I'm wearing, but obviously that can vary with the 15% off sale. So these blue earrings are currently £51. The hoop huggies are also £51. The necklace is £85 and the bracelet is £65. Prices really vary from, I think as this is $39, so there's definitely something for everyone if you're looking for a smaller gift or something more expensive to treat yourself or someone else then it's definitely worth having a look right now that I am all ready and accessorized for the day um, I have a little mini haul actually to do with you guys today because I purchased some new bits that I think you're really gonna like so I'm gonna show them to you now okay so firstly I'm gonna talk about a handbag purchase that I made now if you watch my spring outfits video you already will have seen this handbag but I wanted to show it in a vlog where I can talk about it in a little bit more detail so this is the bag that I got it is the Le Bambino and it's not the smallest size um but it's the one before the grande so they do a grande one that is slightly bigger than this not sure if they do it in this color or not um but this is like what would be classed as the middle size but it is it is tiny as you can see it just fits my phone in i have the iphone xs max i have to take the case off to put it in and i have to put it in sideways so it's a very very impractical bag but i just thought this was beautiful i got it on selfridges um and i think it was 405 pounds it's 370 pounds on the jacquemus website but you then have to pay i don't know how much it is but you have to pay quite a bit for um taxes because of brexit now i did order directly from the jacquemus website before and i didn't have to pay taxes last year but they've changed their rules now so i ordered this from selfridges um and yeah 405 pounds i just adore it i think it is such a gorgeous gorgeous bag i love the color i've been umming and ahhing um about purchasing a jacquemus bag for a very very long time actually i wanted to get the um Le Chiquito, I believe it's called, in like a nude colour because I feel like I just wear my black sac de jour so much and I wanted something a bit lighter for the spring and the summer. Um, but then I saw this one and I just thought this is perfect. I also purchased a pair of tan leather sandals from June um, which match almost identically to this bag and I've also got a pair of tan leather heels from H&M as well which you will see in an upcoming H&M haul or I might have already posted the haul I don't know but yeah I just thought this was perfect for spring it looks great with white um obviously it's got the crossbody strap so you can wear it crossbody or you can just carry it with the top handle as well but yeah I absolutely adore this and I know that I am definitely going to be getting my wear out of it the next thing that I wanted to show you guys is a new blazer um, so this one is from Arquette. Now I am denied about getting this for a really long time because it was quite expensive. I think it was £135. Um, I managed to get 10% off though because I'd never ordered from Arquette before. Um, so like if you signed up to their newsletter or whatever, it was like one of those 10% off things. So I managed to get that. Um, so I think it came to like £117. But I love this blazer. I'm so glad I took the leap and I bought it and I paid that little bit extra because it is now, I think, my favourite blazer alongside my black Zara one, which you guys know I adore. But the colour of this, I just think is gorgeous. It's sort of like a lighter camel. It's kind of like a dark beige, obviously single breasted, nice and oversized. I got this in a size I think it's a 36. Yes, I got this in a size 36. I definitely wanted to get this in the size 38 and not the size 36, but they just didn't have it. So I got the 36 and I was a bit unsure about it when I first put it on. I thought maybe this is a bit sort of like tailored. Maybe it doesn't give the look that I was going for, but I really like it. I'm so glad I decided to keep it. I think it looks really good and it's quite nice to have a blazer that is not super oversized and that's a slightly different fit to my other blazers. If you do want to see this on, I have plenty of pictures of it over on my Instagram so you can check it out there. It also comes in some other colours by the way because I think that colour is sold out but there are a few others as well so I will link it down below. And finally I have a new pair of trainers to show you. These are obviously some veggies. 
Now I was kindly gifted these from All Soul, which if you don't know is a website that stocks um, loads of different brands. I think they stock Converse and Doc Martens and Dune and a few others as well. But I was very lucky to be sent these veggies. Now veggies are a pair of trainers that I was considering buying for myself, but I didn't know if they were really my style. I'm more of like into a chunkier trainer than a more tennis style shoe, but I absolutely love these ones. So I went for the all white, which is very much suited to my style. These are the V12 style and I love them. I think they're gorgeous. They're really comfortable. A few people said to me that they might be difficult to break in, but the first time I wore them, I wore them the whole day and they were absolutely fine, didn't rub at all. I just love these. I think they give a really different dynamic to my outfits than a pair of like dad trainers or more chunkier trainers do. So it's really nice to have that option in my wardrobe and yeah, I just love the style of them. And I am all Already tempted to get myself another pair so I will leave these as well linked down below also do stock loads and loads of different styles as well so if the B12 aren't for you there are plenty others to choose from and lots of different colorways as well there's a beautiful nude pair on there at the moment which I am trying to convince my mum to get so that I can share them with her. Right, well I feel like that was a very, very long start to the video, so I'm not gonna film any more today and I will catch up with you all tomorrow morning. Hi everyone, so it's Saturday morning. As you can see, I've had a shower and washed my hair and I'm just gonna blow dry it now. I thought I would show you a few hair products that I've been using recently that I am loving. So I've just popped some of this hair burst spray on my hair. I normally do this when it's damp after I've just come out the shower. It's called Volume and Growth elixir it just really helps keep my hair long and strong um and voluminous and then i've just popped on a little bit of this christophe robin prickly pear serum which i've used quite a few times before i think i've spoken about this on my channel as well and this i just use as a heat protectant and as a serum and i've brushed through my hair with this brush which is the wet brush detangler it's the original detangler and I literally love it. Obviously my hair is smooth because I've already just brushed through it, um, but this works so well on wet hair and the bristles are so flexible. Sometimes I find there's a lot of tension when I'm brushing my hair when it's wet and it breaks so much easier than when it's dry. Um, and this really stops that from happening. It leaves my hair in such good condition and it literally makes brushing through it when it's wet like a five second job, it's so quick. Apologies if there's any hair left on this, I can't quite get it out but this is also from wet brush and this is the speed dry brush and i love using this because of these vents at the back when you're drying your hair it just makes it so quick i've been using these two products for i don't know about a month and they've really made such a difference to my hair they were gifted to me from wet brush as part of a paid campaign that i did over on instagram but i'm not being paid to talk about them on youtube but i just wanted to share them because I love the effect they've had on my hair. This one especially makes drying my hair so much quicker because I've got quite long, thick hair. It holds a lot of water. Because I've got quite long, thick hair, it holds a lot of water and it would take me at least 20 minutes to dry my hair. I think with this and the Dyson Airwrap combined, um, it literally takes me 10 minutes, if that, to dry my hair. It's amazing it's made such a difference cut so much time out and really sped up the process so i'm just going to blast my hair now and sort of show you how i use it Obviously my hair was already drying a bit because I didn't blow dry it straight away. I left it, put my makeup on first, so it was already slightly dry. Highly recommend this. Um, they're available at Superdrug, Look Fantastic, Boots. Um, just type in wet brush and I'm sure you will find one. Right, I'm gonna do the other side now. hair all dry nice and silky and smooth as well and I'm just gonna pop on some of my Gizu hair oil almost finished this one good job I've got another one ready to go because this is my favorite hair oil hello 
but also I just wanted to say as well whilst I remember thank you so much for all the lovely comments on my last vlog that I uploaded um I'll be honest I was a little bit nervous about uploading a vlog firstly that one I just didn't think was very good anyway you guys seem to love it but I don't know I just when I was uploading it I was like oh this this video is a bit rubbish. I do definitely get a bit nervous before uploading a video because I feel like sometimes YouTube can be a little bit of a negative space um, and I find people don't mince their words as much as they do on Instagram. Um, they're very, if they don't like something, they'll just comment it and say it and they don't care if they offend you. Something I've definitely gotten used to now, but I do always get a little bit apprehensive of when I see a comment, I'm like, oh, is this gonna be a good one or is this gonna be a bad one? But it was just so nice and it really gave me that boost to sort of film this vlog um, because so many of you were so lovely about the last one so oh wow that sunlight is coming straight through my window um so yeah thank you so much for being so kind it really is massively appreciated right so i'm all tanned now kind of orange as you can see but this is the tan that i've been using which is the bella mianta yeah bella mianta bella mianta luxury tanning Tanning liquid in dark. This is the one that I've been using with this mitt, which I love. It's such a good soft mitt. Um, but I've literally used half of this, like it's down to here. So it's obviously good. I'm obviously enjoying it. But I just like the colour that it makes me because it's quite similar to the natural colour that I tan. Um, I'd say I'm like olivey, orange kind of skinned. The colour on my face is is my natural colour. I've got that like orange undertone of fake tan um so this color does kind of suit me quite nicely and it does kind of match my face quite well i feel like it's very highlighted because of my white nails and my white robe at the moment <laughs> so i thought that i would just sit down and kind of talk you through the rest of this vlog um because i basically filmed some footage here and there just because significant things were happening um, but i wasn't actually filming a vlog so i thought i'd start this vlog and then just slot this footage in um, so that you get to see what I've been up to. Sorry, a van has just pulled up outside my house called Fusion Spice. Anyway, sorry, I'll ignore that. Um, so yeah, basically vlogged a couple of weekends ago. It was Mother's Day weekend and um, some exciting things happened. So I vlogged them. So I will insert those clips in in a minute. But before I do that, I want to tell you something else exciting that happened. I got my COVID vaccination, um, which yeah, was very exciting. There's not that much to tell, to be honest. I went on a Friday afternoon at 2.30. Um, it was very well organized. It was really quick. I was sort of in and out within half an hour. It didn't hurt at all. Um, I wasn't nervous, to be honest. Needles and that sort of thing don't really worry me. I was just kind of excited to get it done. Um, the reason that I got asked to have it done um, when I'm sort of young and healthy is that I am a carer for my grandmother for you, those of you that don't know because she's 92 she's classed as clinically vulnerable um so because I'm her main carer I was asked to go um she's already had her first dose she's having her second one in a month or so's time I think but yeah lots of you on Instagram when I said that I'd had it done were asking me like how did you feel um did it make you feel ill and to be honest, yeah, it made me feel really ill. I wasn't expecting it at all because when my grandma had her, she was fine. Like she was a little bit sick, but she was absolutely fine. Um, and she's 92, so I was like, well, I'm gonna be absolutely fine, I'm 25, I'll be able to handle it. The nurse that did it actually said to me, you will probably feel ill because you're young and you're, you've got a very healthy immune system. So your body will be like, what the hell is this? Whereas my grandmother's immune system is quite weak. So her body just kind of, let it happen so yeah i had it done on the friday at 2 30 and then it wasn't until like i was asleep in bed that evening at probably like midnight one o'clock that i woke up just feeling so ill i woke up and i was so dizzy and like feverish and shaking and sweating um it was horrible it was basically just like flu um, I felt really achy and tired as well the next day. It only lasted a day, but it did definitely completely write me off. Um, and I was not expecting that at all. I was like, had plans, I was going to be fine, um, and I wasn't, so. So that was slightly annoying. I hope that doesn't happen when I have my second dose as well. Sorry if I'm squinting a bit. It's actually really bright outside. Um, I might have to move this camera a bit. I feel like I need to do this. That's really helping. Ignore all the mess and everything behind me as well, by the way. Um, I was going to take some pictures, so I've got all my 
bits up there and I have to put them up there so Maple can't reach them because I made the mistake of leaving some trainers on the floor and she's chewed the laces. They weren't my Chanel ones. So I'm not that angry. They were like the old Air Force that I never really wear, but not ideal. And now I'm gonna insert the footage of Mother's Day weekend. Nothing that exciting happened. I just went to the garden center and we cooked some lovely food, but um, I will leave you with that. So we are just about to pop out. Um, just wearing this tracksuit from H&M and my Converse and obviously my YSL bag. Hello. <laughs> She's had a bath this morning, so she's super fluffy. We're just gonna pop to the garden center. I'll show you it actually, because it's really nice, like a farmer's market there. And then we're gonna go and pick up a food box that we've ordered for tomorrow for Mother's Day, which is so lovely. So I can't wait to see that and see what that looks like. And we're gonna take Maple with us. You made a right mess of my room, haven't you? Yeah, we're gonna take her with us and give her a little bit of a walk so she can stretch her legs and yeah maybe meet some other doggies at the garden center. I have to show you this. Look, Maple. <laughs> we got her this jumper um, when she was a baby and she, is that uncomfortable? She was way too small for it and now she finally fits it. It's got the cutest little hood. It's got bunny ears on it. You're a bunny rabbit today. Is the box that we picked up cute little sticker in here is just some bread what does that say whole grain mustard muffins and some little madeleines as well and then in here these are the instructions taped to the top so we have some idea what we're doing and then this is all the ingredients so we've got guinea fowl, there's some smoked haddock, obviously asparagus, that's a toffee sauce. Palm anna, potatoes. Beef dripping and horseradish butter, mmm. Lots of lovely sauces. These are the exact dishes, bread and butter, the smoked haddock chowder. Guinea fowl, pom anna, asparagus, black garlic and truffle oil and roast chicken gravy. Mm, can't wait to eat that. And then a sticky toffee pudding, pecan and granola. And this Pedro Zimenex is the sherry that my grandma loves. Um, and then a bit of clotted cream and the madeleines. So those are our instructions. Hopefully we can do it justice, but very, very excited by this. It's just something a little bit different and a little bit special. Hi everyone, so it's actually Mothering Sunday today. Excuse the state of me, but it's Sunday, so I thought I'm not gonna make an effort. Um, my mum's already had her presents and her flowers. Um, I didn't film them for some reason, I completely forgot, but I got her some lovely flowers, which I'm sure I'll show you later. And I actually got her um, an electronic diffuser from the White Company. Um, she didn't really ask for it, but I just thought it was quite a nice present um, and she really likes stuff like that So I thought she can put it in her room or in the lounge or wherever she wants at the moment It's in the lounge, so I'll leave a link to it down below, but she also got me These flowers um, from Maple Because <laughs> I call myself her mum um, and she got me this card from the dog on Mother's Day And I've still got this card out um, which she got me for Valentine's Day from Maple. <laughs> but these flowers are beautiful. I love pink roses like this. How stunning is that? And some eucalyptus in there as well, which is one of my favorites, and some lilies. So they are beautiful. I also let my mum, oh, let my mum, like I don't let her, but I, um, I actually made her really use these Christophe Robin products today because um, I actually used them on my hair yesterday and I was reminded how amazing they are so I said to her because she normally washes her hair and does like a hair mask on a Sunday so I said you need to use this shampoo and then this hair mask and she's going to use this serum as well um, but I adore these. I have a 15% off code for Christophe Robin as well so I'll um, pop that on the screen and link these in the description box because I adore both of these products. They're incredible. This mask especially, it leaves your hair soft and smooth for like three days after you use it which i think is great because a lot of masks do a great job at smoothing out your hair and hydrating it and nourishing it but then 
after you wash it again or after a couple of days or even a day it just goes whereas that one is really long lasting so we're actually going to have a little drink now a little glass of prosecco i'm not sure what the time is i think it's quite early in the afternoon but um who wants to make the most of the day and yeah then we've got that lovely food box to prepare which i'm slightly nervous about because if anybody knows me they'll know i'm not a very good cook and i'm don't like cooking we'll see how that goes hopefully it'll be all right we've got all the instructions and everything so it should be foolproof This is a wine that we got from a local brewery in school. What was it called? Chilton Brewery? Yeah. So hopefully it's nice. Norfolk wine, 2019. So I'm going to give it a go now. just thought I should come on here and end this vlog properly. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got up to on Mother's Day weekend. Don't forget to shop the Ana Luisa sale. Their 15% off at the moment is such a great saving, so I will leave the link to that in the description box. If you did enjoy this video, then please give it a like. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribed, and I will see you all very soon with another video. Bye.